If you're in my family, don't watch this video. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick and simple video about some Christmas presents that I am extremely excited about. These are not heavy-duty, super practical homesteading presents. These are lovely and pleasant presents that you could get for anyone, whether they homestead or not. One of the reasons I'm sharing these with you is because all three of these products have YouTube channels that accompany them. And so I also wanted to shout out these channels because I really appreciate their channels. But the other reason is because I actually really love all of these items. And I think anyone would be blessed to receive these as a Christmas present. Some of these items were given to me, but they were items that I have used or bought in the past. Like the tea, this tea from St. Friacra's Farm. Um, I bought the plant press from Sow the Land, and we were gifted these butter knives from the Swedish homestead. Uh, they have become friends of ours, and I just thought it was really sweet that they sent us these all the way from Sweden. Um, but none of them asked me to promote their YouTube channels. I'm just doing that because I appreciate them, and I thought you guys might too. The first items I'm gonna show you are these amazing teas from St. Fiacra's Farm. This is a hazelnut coffee so it's got dandelion root and chicory which makes it seem kind of like coffee but it's not coffee. I've been drinking their teas for a few months and using their products and I absolutely love them. This is my favorite. This Pacific peppermint patty it is so good. But I also wanted to show you they make salves and lip balms and other homemade body products. Like I said, I have been using their products for some months and I love them. And now let me show you their awesome YouTube channel where they do a lot of do-it-yourself um, how-to kind of videos on how to make um, lotion bars, how to make, uh, how to dehydrate your vegetables, how to use calendula, things like that. They grow some of the um, products that are in their teas and then they locally source as much of the other herbs and flowers and things like that as they can into their teas, which is pretty amazing. It's a flower press and they're handmade by um, Jason at Sow the Land. Sow the Land is one of my favorite YouTube channels and they live in our area so we've gotten to meet them. They're just lovely people. We love what they're doing. Here is Sow the Land's website. Once again, it is beautifully done. Here's the plant press, which is the what I bought. Um, she has a video actually, and I'll link that here of her and her daughter using it. Uh, here's their incredible wall hangings. They have some really nice cutting boards and then beautiful wooden spoons. Okay, so the next exciting item I wanna show you are these lovely butter knives, Swedish homemade Swedish butter knives from Sweden from a YouTube channel called Swedish Homestead. Go check out their YouTube channel. Here's a little view of it right now. Okay, here's Swedish Homestead YouTube channel. They have an extremely informative and fun to watch YouTube channel. I asked them if they were selling these and they are not selling them, but I was still thinking that you could probably find them online and buy them for someone that you know has a cow and makes her own butter. She would probably love these. And even if they don't, I know I would love these. I don't make my own butter yet. I Googled handmade Swedish butter knives and immediately many, many options came up on Etsy. So I just thought you guys might want some ideas of how you could support some other YouTube channels and also find some really awesome and beautiful gifts that I know, at least any woman I know, would love to receive any of those things. And I do actually plan on giving some of these things as presents this year. So if you're in my family, don't watch this video. <laughs> mm, let's get that exposure right. Now what you've all been waiting for, a coffee nut. I'm a coffee nut tries coffee alternative for the very first time. This is the St. Fiacra's Farm Pumpkin Hazel Not Coffee Rich Deep Roots Meat Pumpkin Spice. I fixed this with cream and sugar because that's how I drink my coffee and I'm gonna try it now.
taste the chicory and I taste the hazelnut. I think it tastes more like coffee than tea. Bree just tasted it and said, oh, it tastes like tea. Well, it has like the... It has like a rich... It has the richness of coffee, but the thinness of tea. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't taste like it has the body that coffee. a lot of coffee has. Maybe it's the oils, I don't know. But it has the richness of coffee. Yeah, I like it actually. I like it too. I don't know the challenge in switching from coffee for me. If I were to try a coffee alternative like this, no caffeine. Is the caffeine and you know it's caffeine free, and that's an advertising point. On one hand, it's the challenge for someone who drinks coffee regularly and nearly depends on caffeine, at least in the morning, to feel okay. I love it though. Honestly, I would drink this. I'm over here drinking mine. And I like coffee, but I have become a tea drinker over the past year. So I actually really like this. It's like an in-between. I don't like how coffee makes me feel, but I like the richness of it. So this is like the perfect in-between for me. Is this a separate video? Separate? Yeah. Separate from what? The one I just made or is this part of it? This is the part, this is the video. Oh. That was another great day on the homestead. That was another great day on the home.